What's up, Vikes? Today we have information about Picture Day and Parent Night. I'm Sophie, and you're watching SVTV. If you have not purchased a parking pass, you need to do so as soon as possible. As possible, Security will start checking for vehicles without permits next week. If you're enrolled in Washburn University classes, you need to turn in your enrollment form by August 25th to avoid a late fee. The absolute last day to turn in your form is September 1st. See Mrs. Varner in the front office with any questions. The back to school dance is this Friday from 8 to 10. There will be no outside dates and casual school dress code will be enforced. The cost is $5. Any student who is having issues getting e-hall pass to work should try the following. If you are still experiencing problems, please see Ms. Simons in C4 East. The volleyball team is looking for managers. Please see Ms. Schaefer in W9 for more information. Mr. Kuhn has openings in his seminar for students interested in robotics. If you are one of these students, go see Mr. Kuhn. Parent night is tonight. Make sure your parents have your schedule and come to the high school auditorium at 6.30. Monday, August 27th is picture day. Students, you will have pictures taken during your English classes. Bring your order forms and dress to impress. The football scrimmage is tomorrow night at 6.30. Make sure you come on out and cheer on your bikes. Josh will be back with the weather after this commercial break. Seaman students should enroll in challenging courses such as Honors English. Always be engaged in the activity and show self-control. Also, follow classroom policies and procedures. Be considerate of others' opinions and collaborate with others to problem solve. Treat school property with respect. Complete work on time. Be a Viking. And an engaged student. Seaman Strong. Picture Day is Monday, August 27th. It doesn't matter what your look is, just make sure you show up. Good afternoon to you. We are tracking some big changes on the way here in the weather department. Let's take a look at your forecast headlines. Today, just some awesome weather. Probably the best day of the summer so far. Check these temperatures out. We're topping out at 80 degrees. Like I said yesterday, really low humidity too, but most of the time will be spent in the 70s. There's just a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm, but I think most of us stay dry and it's just a cloudy, cool, nice day. But we are tracking some changes tomorrow. There is a rain chance. This would come in a couple of rounds. First could be in the morning into the early afternoon, and then perhaps a second round in the late evening hours. We'll fine tune this forecast for you tomorrow, but that's just something to keep in mind. It could be a wet drive to school tomorrow. Otherwise, like I said, we're heating up this weekend. Check out these heat index values for Saturday. 95 or to 105 degrees. The air temperatures will be about 10 degrees cooler than that. Sunday should be a slightly lower heat index because our air temperature will be about the same as the heat index because of that humidity going down just a little bit. Otherwise, again, the forecast headlines all together, you can see right there. We also are looking at those rain chances adding up quite a bit over the next 24 to 48 hours or so. I'm generally thinking one to two inches could see some locally less and higher amounts though. 
Otherwise, in Hawaii, there is Hurricane Lane nearing the big islands. We have hurricane warnings in effect for many hurricane watches for all the others. This could weaken just a little bit, but it's still uncertain exactly the path Hurricane Lane will take. Otherwise, Hawaii, watch out. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that 80 degrees today and tomorrow quickly change to 90s on Friday. And that warmth continues into early next week, along with a little more wind. Now, Sophie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. All right, that's all we have for now, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.